Hello everybody, so here we go again. Our bathroom sink is blocked up this time. So we're going to get inside of here, take a look and see what's going on. So before we start, we turn on the water and what happens here is every time myself or one of the kids comes in here to wash their hands, the water doesn't flow down the drain. Instead, it kind of backs up a little bit, water collects in the sink. off the water and here we have a little pool of water so we're gonna get in here and troubleshoot and see what's going on all right one of the first things you might want to look at is the pop-up sink stopper here uh, these don't usually come out this easy the kids broke it when they were trying to lift up the stopper to see what may be blocking up the sink but sometimes gunk can collect in between all of these little corners here and stop the flow of water from growing, going down the drain. And uh, that can be one of the source of the problems here. And as we can see, that shows up there or not, there is some glitter stuff on here, which goes to show me that the kids have been washing their hands with... Uh, slime on their hands and the slime's been going down the drain so that might be a part of our problem I guess we'll see um, but nonetheless I'll show you how to take this piece out should it not want to pull up for all you. right and before we continue I am gonna go ahead and shut off the water to the sink Okay, let's go in underneath the sink here and take a look. If your stopper is not broken like mine, we're gonna come take a look here. And what we're looking for is this retaining nut that is attached to the stopper rod. Okay, that stopper rod is the part on the back of the sink that you would pull up on to Put, put the stopper into place see so that's attached to that whole mechanism underneath here and as you can see then moves about the pivot rod which is this one right here so let's go ahead and loosen up that clevis pen that I was showing you and we will be able to pull that out okay We'll take a look at this clevis screw here and you can try to loosen it by hand and I can't so I'm going to use my vice grip to loosen it up and there we go just a little bit so that I can loosen the rest of it by hand. Okay. I'm just gonna let that drop out, okay? All right, now we're gonna pull that horizontal rod out. Okay, now that that is out, what y'all know in this is... really interested in removing is this pivot rod from within here because this pivot rod runs through the pipe to which the stopper is attached right there. So what you'll notice is that this hole on the stopper itself, that rod goes right through that hole and holds that in place which is why you can't pull it out so we got to get that rod pulled out let me see if i can make that a little bit more clear for you 
we got to get that rod out from the pivot rod so that we can take out the stopper. Next step here is we're going to then loosen this up and take that out so we can get this pivot rod out so that the stopper can be pulled out. Okay. All right, after having turned off the water, I'm going to pop a bucket underneath just to catch any grippings. And I'm going to loosen this up. And see, that's all hand tightened, so I didn't have to literally do anything to get that loosened up. So we're just going to go ahead and take that off and pull that out. And that's all there is to it. That was really easy. If you don't want to take out your horizontal rod like I did above, you don't have to. You can just loosen that up, pull that off, and then it'll just hang free there. All right, now that that stopper is out of the way, I'm going to flash a light down here, see if I can get anything. And I hope, oh, yeah, I already can see some pink stuff amongst other gunk. Let's see if I can focus in on that a little better. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think we see part of the source of our problem here, but we're going to get into it nonetheless, just in case some more of that gunk is deeper down in the elbow. All right, to start taking in a deeper look, we're going to loosen up this coupling nut here. Uh, a lot of your plumbing is going to be hand tightened, so you shouldn't need any vice grips. You might have to give it a little bit of a some muscle here to loosen it up, but you shouldn't need any vice grips. So we're just going to loosen this up until it comes completely loose. We're going to do the same on this one. We're going to take this elbow completely off. Let me come on another. Okay, this one is on tight, so i to bring out my bigger vice grips. I've got a link to these in the video description below. All right, so let's get in here and loosen this one up. Take it off. Basically, I just want to make sure that there's nothing trapped in here either. So let's get to it. I need to widen these up. All right, so this thing was a bear to churn. There we go. Dang. That one is on there really good. So... We can see some water is backed up in here. Oh my God. That was on there tight. I don't think I've ever had one that tight before. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nasty. Gross. Well, <laughs> there you go. I think that's our blockage, so. Um, I'm going to go get some rubber gloves on before we touch any of that. Uh, that's for sure. So we'll be right back. All right. So God only knows what that is. Um, who knows with the kids, you know, this is a bathroom they use all the time. So our little ones might have stuck something down there or uh, who knows. Um, I'm going to put on my rubber gloves here because I'm not about to touch that with my bare hand. And we're going to pull that out and I uh, think that'll clear us up. Alright, let's pull that out here. What the heck is that? Oh my god. Oh, it's all... Oh, you know what? That's all slime and stuff. I'm pretty sure. That's... Oh, yeah. That's all caked in there. And the girls, their hair, from when they brush their hair in here in the morning. And of course they brush their teeth before they go to bed in here as well. So that's just all accumulated in there. What well, it's just all a mixture of stuff. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and loosen up this pipe and take this out. And we're gonna, oh, let me get that on. 
I'm gonna loosen this pipe up here and we're gonna go ahead and take this out. Yeah, you can hear them in the background right now. So, oh, gross. Yeah, that's, that's all like slime, toothpaste. Okay. Well, I know I didn't show that on film, but I probably spared you the nastiness that was. So, I feel like you already saw most of it, but. Okay, so that pipe, we can see through it now. Yay. So we're cleared out as much as we possibly can be. I'm going to clean that out regardless. I'm going to probably take a brush or something and scrub that all out nice and good as best I can anyway. But there was our problem, and I'm also going to make sure that we're clear all the way up here as well. I think I might just go to the hardware store and replace a lot of these plastic components because this plastic piece comes out from here like that. And uh, okay, let's take a look from the top side. I think I'm gonna either I'm gonna change these out, get them off, and we'll be back to put everything back together. All right, so I cleaned up these parts <clears throat> as best I could, and you know that's a lot clearer now. Uh, this pipe is completely cleared out now, and the stopper itself I got really clean, and I wanted to show you how this is cracked here. The rod goes through that hole there, obviously. So what was happening was. As the kids were trying to pull this out, it cracked and the rod went right through it. So when I was in here and they're yanking on it really hard to the point where that just snapped and came out on its own. So we'll go ahead and put the rod back through it again, but we'll see if it holds. I'm not too worried about it though. Because, honestly, it's really not often that we pull up the, <clears throat> the rod here to actually stop up the sink to put water in it. So, that's why I'm not too worried about it. And if not, I can go buy a replacement. And hopefully, it's probably not that expensive. So, alright. Let's get everything put back together here and get our sink back to being fully operational. All right, now that we found the source of our problem, it's time to put everything back together. So we're simply just going to reverse the process. And I'm going to start here with this piece. I don't know, I think I already showed this to you, but we're all cleared out here now. So let's put it back. Cross thread this. Oh, I forgot to put this back on. We're just going to hand tighten that, okay?
actually hand tighten that one as well. I was really surprised at how tight that was before, so. Just hand tighten that, okay. And then we're gonna put our plastic grommet back in there. Install our pivot rod, and as we talked about earlier, I'm going to go ahead and put the stopper back in, and we're going to try to fit the pivot rod in through the stopper like this. Let's see if we can't get that to align. So we'll put our stopper in first. I'm gonna go ahead and install it like that. Okay, and then we'll come down here and put our pivot rod. Okay, that's a hand tightened as well.
So there you have it. The fix is complete. I'm now able to wash my hands and the water will flow freely down the drain without obstruction. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or general comments. Um, also, if you liked my video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate that very much. Uh, thank you everyone for taking the time to watch my video.